In Team Fortress 2's default settings, anti-aliasing is disabled, which is fine actually, because not everyone's PC is powerful enough to have it on. But if your PC can handle it, I highly recommend turning it on. Why? Let me explain. Anti-aliasing can remove tons of jaggies and make the game look a lot cleaner and smoother. There are many types of anti-aliasing, but TF2 only uses one, and that is MSAA, multi-sample anti-aliasing. This technique smooths out the edges of polygons and makes them look more natural, albeit slightly blurrier. The number of samples determine the quality of the image and how fast the game will run. In other words, 2x MSAA looks the worst and runs the quickest, while 8x MSAA looks the best and runs the slowest. This spot in Upward here can show the effects of anti-aliasing quite nicely. Notice how in the raw no AA image, the wooden beams look quite jarring as it is very aliased. These two beams in particular even look like distant stairs. The ropes look pixelated, and there's a spot where it even breaks up into two parts. Truly horrifying, right? Now, let's take a look at the image with anti-aliasing enabled, and voila! Everything looks like what they're supposed to be. The wooden beams look clean, the ropes are smooth and surprisingly, perfectly intact. And I would say, yeah, there is still aliasing if you look close enough, but it is still a huge improvement over the image without anti-aliasing. And really, if you zoom out just as if you're actually playing the game, everything looks normal. Okay, so let's take a look at another image. This time, we are looking at lines even thinner than the ropes before. Can you guess which one is anti-aliased? This one. This one is the anti-aliased image. I hope you've got it right. In the image with no anti-aliasing, the lines don't even look like lines, as they just break up a bit too much. They're just a bunch of random pixels arranged horizontally, I guess. I would go as far as to say that most people can't even tell that it's a fence at this point. In the anti-aliased image, things look a lot better. Again, just like the image before, the lines are still intact and clean looking. It is still aliased if you look extremely closely, but again, if you zoom out, everything looks fine. In motion, anti-aliasing brings another pleasant effect, and that is stabilizing the image, aka eliminating shimmer and flicker. With no anti-aliasing, the demo man here just flickers too much and the image is very unstable, it's constantly changing all the time, and this may even distract you during your gameplay. With anti-aliasing enabled, the demo flickers a lot less and looks much cleaner. MSAA only smooths out the edges of polygons and nothing else to save on performance. Jaggies that are inside the model cannot be cleaned up, so the ambassador here still looks imperfect with anti-aliasing enabled. In addition, anti-aliasing is quite demanding and can increase your GPU workload significantly. Although 8x MSAA looks awesome, it just makes my game run a bit too slow. Hence, I use 4x MSAA and that's my sweet spot for anti-aliasing. To find your own sweet spot, be sure to experiment with the anti-aliasing settings yourself and see if the better image quality is worth it. Thanks for watching.